Since I learned about Vertex Paint and then developed an add-on for it called Crayon, I've been using it constantly in my Blender use, whether it's organizing uh, objects within a file or just doing modeling. And I needed a couple new features, and so I added those into the add-on, and I wanted to share that with everybody. So the two new features are select everything of the same color and removing colors. So what I've been doing is I've been using I've, I've been using it for different workflow stuff and one of the things I need to do is you know if I have a whole bunch of stuff that's of the same color I want to get everything of that same color so now I can click this button I get everything of the same color um, once they're selected I can do other things with it uh, you know whether it's through delete them scale them whatever other kind of add-on operation I'm gonna do uh, but having this is super handy uh, it's a little different than using collections, so this can go across collections. It doesn't care if these are in different collections, uh, what else is associated with them. Uh, it just looks at their color and selects them if they're the same color or something that you currently have selected. So let me show you a way that that might work out. So here you can see everything that is blue is the same, uh, is in one object, and this is just how the file came to me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove colors to show that feature. And you can see if, if you know, everything is not, it is just one object. It's hard to tell what's what, right? So I'm going to go ahead and set the color of this, right? So set to current color. You can see they turn blue. Right? And then when I go to edit it, I'm going to uh, hit P separate them by loose parts and I've got everything in uh, the blue color still but they're separated right so it kept the vertex color after the objects were all separated uh, so even though they're not the same object I can quickly get them by hitting select same color so here's a model I've been working on lately and you know, it's, it's got these big, solid, uh, solid surfaces. Sometimes it gets really slow in a material mode. Um, you can see it you know, slow down on my poor Mac. Um, so being able to model in that in, in this solid mode, uh, you know, it's just a whole lot faster. But when everything's the same color, it can be hard to visually distinguish what's going on. Right, so, you know, if I want to model something and I want to do it on this, then I will use Crayon in order to, uh, oops, not that one. I'll use Crayon to set a color and then I can, you know, click, click on that object or I can, I can see it against the other objects. It's distinct. And then later, if I want to get other things by that same color, I can do that All right so um, it can be pretty handy when you are even just modeling a large object and you need to visually distinguish components on it that you're working on or you want to uh, select or you know just keep visually distinct